Hello world, on today's episode, I will be wrapping up Season 2 of Jumongbai Builds with this. Nanoblock Tokyo, Japan. I've been waiting on this very moment for quite some time now, and I figured this would be a good way to wrap up Season 2, building something with a bit of a challenge and more pieces. I grabbed this model from a seller on Makari. It was labeled as new and unopened, but to be honest, I'm not too sure about that. Especially when seals are broken and there's a big hole in the box right here. Is it really new? Anyway. This model features different landmarks of Tokyo, Japan, including the following. The Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building, Sensoji, Kaminarimon, Marunouchi Tokyo Station, the Tokyo Dome, Tokyo Tower, the Rainbow Bridge, and the Tokyo Skytree. The back of the box displays product shots, tells you nothing about the locations, and shows the model's dimensions, which are these pictured right here. Inside the box, there are lots of baggies filled with a variety of colors, which means I am going to be really busy. Also inside, an instruction manual with a grand total of 122 steps. Oh boy. <sighs> this is going to take a while. I already know. But anyway, let's build up. This should be the spot. You're the one leading us to the mothership, Mr. Howdy, partners. I'm Cowboy Brother, but y'all can call me Joe. Ah, let's get him on over there. Boss battle. A whole bunch of giant creatures are heading this way. Well, shucks, guess I'm up. Creatures attack by spitting blood. Be careful not to get spit on.
Money Adam. We're all 
almost at the ranch where that mothership is. Stay sharp. <laughs>
Let me at him!
All right, world, let's take a look at Nanoblock Tokyo. After my nearly five and a half hour journey with one potty break, I'm very happy with how things turned out. Everything looks great here. In addition to the Tokyo landmarks, there are additional city buildings, trees, roads filled with cars, even Tokyo Bay. Sadly, if you aren't familiar with any of these locations, there's no information about them on the box or in the instructions, especially knowing these are famous landmarks. But don't worry, I got you covered. And while I'm at it, I'll tell you what I think of them. The Tokyo government building was pretty solid. Both the five-story pagoda and kamirarimon were smooth sailing. Tokyo Station went extremely well. While we're at Tokyo Station, it's worth mentioning that there are two bullet trains here and they're pretty cool. The Tokyo Dome offers a great deal of complexity in its design and I really enjoyed it. I love the colors and simple yet complex build of the Tokyo Tower. While there wasn't a lot going on here, building the Rainbow Bridge was great. And then there was the Tokyo Skytree. I'll get to that one soon. This might sound a bit weird, but this model feels like a sampler for models that you can buy separately. Not all of them, but at least a handful of them. For example, the five-story pagoda sold separately. Kaminarimon also sold separately. How about building the Tokyo Station? Sold separately. You want to build the Tokyo Tower? Also sold separately. How about building the Tokyo Skytree? You guessed it. It's also sold separately. Not to mention, all of these are available in deluxe sizes as well. I honestly think that's pretty clever. If you ever wanted to build on a larger scale, you most certainly can, with attention to detail as the reward for each tier. Heck, if you decided that you ever wanted to build a larger scale version of Japan, Kawada has you covered with bullet trains that you can add to your city. And they're motorized. While this is a first for my channel, this isn't the first time I've ever built one of these cityscapes. Before Tokyo, I've also built London. It's another spot in the world that I would love to visit someday. The experience was about the same, locking in over five hours to build. It also had one landmark that offered some complexity, and that was the London Eye. And it took some time to build that London Eye too. <sighs> When I built Tokyo, I started around midnight and built until the sun came up. I put on a playlist of one of my favorite artists and went into a zone. It started off a little rocky with the block placement on the foundation, but thereafter, everything was like a gentle breeze. And then I built the Tokyo Skytree. The Skytree uses cylinder pieces that are angled, so you have to pay close attention to how they're positioned. Making them not look crooked was the bane of my existence in those late hours of building. Off camera, I ended up taking it apart a couple of times due to it constantly looking uneven. Looking at it now, it still seems a bit off. I love complexity, but getting this one right was a task. That's wild because I built the Tokyo Dome afterwards and it had similar pieces, but I didn't have a single issue lining everything up properly. And while I'm talking about the Tokyo Dome, I will admit it's one of my favorite builds in this entire set. I love complexity in my builds, which Tokyo Skytree definitely had, but it just wasn't a fun build at all, at least compared to this guy. Speaking of the Skytree, its older sibling, the Tokyo Tower, wasn't an issue at all, but it's only because it didn't require any of those cylinder blocks. Thank goodness. Overall, I think that building Tokyo was a pretty fun experience. It was mostly five and a half hours of great vibes, despite my run-in with the Tokyo Skytree. This model serves as a great sampler for Nanoblock's larger yet small offerings in the world-famous architecture line, while still offering a fair deal of complexity even in this tiny scale. Would I build another? Maybe, but not anytime soon. I have other advanced builds that I'd like to challenge on this channel in the future, when I return to you for another season of Jamangbai Builds. So, what's the verdict? I took a different approach during this season of Jamangbai Builds, tackling more than just Nanoblock this time around. But no matter how many model kits or different branded building blocks that I build here, I will always come back to Nanoblock in the end, and for years to come. I'd like to thank you all for watching my videos this season and hanging out with me. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoy the content, feel free to give this video a like. Are you building something cool? Started collecting something? Let me know in the comments section. Let's have a conversation. I'll see you guys soon. In the meantime, enjoy your summer, keep on building, and take care world. Peace.